Oh, here we are kicking with the Wolverine where I say what I mean, I mean what I say, and I say what needs to be said. Well, last night on the AMAA Pioneers and Legends radio blog show, uh, Parts Unknown with Professor Gary Lee filling in for him is yours truly, the Wolverine. Um, we had a great show. We interviewed A.J. Perry and Jason Brooks, and we talked about veterans. It was our veterans show. We also took a minute and had a moment of silence to pay our respects to Mr. Rick Wigington uh, that passed away. He was a Marine and a edge weapons specialist. Mr. Wigington was an amazing person, especially in the real-life tactical uh, self-defense arena, a no-nonsense self-defense um, he was like an old version of Wolverine. He just said it like it was. If you didn't like it, then you just had to fill out a hurt feelings report because he was going to tell the truth, and that was that. So we had a great show. So be sure and try to go online today on Facebook and check that out. You'll see it. Uh, I'll have it posted up in several different areas so be sure and try to go on there and check that out and hopefully uh next time you can get the number and listen in because next week we're going to be interviewing or i will be interviewing the one and only michael d pasquale a personal friend of mine an amazing jiu-jitsu artist uh one probably the first american jiu-jitsu people or jiu-jitsu people in america um you know their family was the getting it all going um, but what I want to talk to you about today is competitions, and I know we always talk about competitions. A lot of times competitions get a lot of bad press and get hit with a lot of stuff, but that's not what we're here to do today. What we're here to do today is to bring a light to competition and to maybe help promoters make more money and maybe even get judges paid. Okay, so when we was at the last few competitions, I've been looking around and noticing the spectators that are there, and the spectators are predominantly uh, family members, significant others of the competitors or team members of the competitors. Okay, well, what this does is this just adds to the fees and the money that the competitors have to spend because now they're, you know, they're having to pay for their girlfriends or wives or whatever, or family members. And so it's just adding. And, and competitors already have a lot to pay for, such as, you know, entry fees, travel, expense, motel, all that stuff. Okay, so if tournament promoters would start advertising their competition to the public months in advance that there's going to be this competition martial arts competition would be one of the most widely watched uh, activities that there are I, I, when I got back from competition you know I was watching some of the CrossFit games and the CrossFit games are packed out they're just watching people work out you know and they're packed um, the strongman competition they're watching people lift heavy weights spectators packed out um, the reason France took karate out in the Olympics when they have it and put breakdancing in is because breakdancing, they cater to the spectator. So it's a spectator sport. So you could bring in, start advertising, charging these spectators coming in um, from the general public $65 for a weekend pass. You've already got different booths there. You could set up more booths, sell more booth space, sell more, uh, they sell more, uh, you know, condiments, more, not condiments, but um, it, concessions. Um, so they're selling more stuff like that. So you're making money in several different areas instead of just off of the handful of people that are there competing that's already spending a bunch of money. Then you could give a discount to the competitors, team, you know, family and friends and significant others that were there to watch because they're bringing them in and make your money off of the general public. Now, what is this going to do? A, it's going to put more money in the spectator, in the uh, promoter's pocket. B, it's going to bring a bigger light to martial arts. And what we do, you think lifting weights is exciting. Well, you know, you've not seen musical weapons, musical kata, creative, empty hand, extreme divisions, traditional divisions, you know, all the different things that go on, traditional weapons, sparring. You, people don't see that, self-defense. This will bring a big light onto that. Also, what's it going to do is going to make fans for the martial arts competitors daytime and nighttime because some people are going to see people during the daytime that may not make it to the eliminations, but they're going to want to come back and see that person compete every time because now they got fans and that they really like that person. And it's going to also keep judges fair and honest. Not to say this happens, but, you know, sometimes judges score on their friends that are up there or maybe this person is with a certain team, so they score for them. Or maybe this person has a booth and set up there or has, um, um, 
sponsored the competition, so their team or whoever they're with is sponsored competition, so the judges are persuaded to score more for them. But this will keep judges fired because now the people, the general public, they don't know about karate. All they're going to be hollering and yelling for is the one that they saw that they thought done the best, which is going to help the judges do their thing because the, the crowd's not going to lie. They're going to, they're going to yell for the one that's a winner because they have no ties to anything. So this will help them out too. So all this would help, help across the board to help us all out, grow our sport and put our sport in the national spotlight that it deserves. So tournament promoters, I hope you, uh, see this. I hope you, uh, try to implement this into what you're doing because you guys are already doing an amazing job. You're giving out amazing awards. But this would just be a way to put more money in your pocket. Also, you can start paying. The judges can start getting paid. This would also help keep things fair. So judges being paid, people keeping them honest. This is a win-win for everybody. I think this is something that everyone needs to really look into, not just because I think so, but because the people that are competing deserve that. They deserve that break. They deserve the reputation, and they deserve the respect. And you promoters work very hard, and you deserve to have extra money from doing the job that you do because you do a great job. So we all love you. Just keep doing what you're doing. Till next time, kicking it with the Wolverine. Stay strong. Keep your kicks up. Us.